you with another girl named Michelle. Now, who is Michelle? Believe it or not, Michelle is actually my ex. Oh, what? So you think your girl is cheating with your ex? Yeah, mine. Ooh, this is messy. Keep going. <laughs> wow. Ruby and I we just moved into a new house, and it's been pretty hectic for us because um, we're trying to get a whole bunch of work done on our house right now. Okay. And I handle it in the furniture, and Ruby's role is to go ahead and hire someone to remodel our super ugly-ass kitchen. Um, <laughs> oh, because... Okay. But, uh, yeah, Ruby was in the shower the other day, and her phone starts blowing up like crazy. And, um, you know, I knew that the contractors were coming in that day, so didn't really think too much of it. I'm like, let me just go ahead. I'll check the phone. Figured they might be calling. And I see this number popping up on Ruby's phone. I recognized it for sure. Believe me, I've seen this number a lot because uh, she used to call me all the time. But I'm like, let me answer this. And uh, But as soon as I did, the person I was calling hung up. So when my girlfriend got out of the shower, I was like, okay, let me try my best to keep my cool. Okay. And I was like, hey, what's the contractor's number? So she gave me the contractor's phone number, and obviously it was a completely different one than the one I was seeing on her phone. Oh. And, uh, and I'm going to be frank with you guys. Like, my breakup with Michelle, it was, oh, I, I pretty much still have nightmares about it. It was awful. Uh, but you yeah. never confronted your girlfriend about this situation? I haven't yet. I actually wouldn't be surprised if she was trying to call your girlfriend, trying to be crazy, get back into your life. I don't think it's necessarily cheating. I think Michelle's just trying to wiggle her way back to you. Well, which is the last thing I want. Does Ruby know Michelle? Like, prior to this situation, like, have you guys talked about her? Like, she knows that Michelle's crazy or no? She does know she's crazy. They've never met, but, I mean, we've always been open with each other. All right, so we're going to call Michelle for a free romantic hotel stay. Ask her who she wants to put on that reservation, Janet. Now, obviously, if she says, Ruby, it's going to be your girlfriend. And at that point, are you breaking up with Ruby? I need to know all the information. Okay. What is she trying to be involved with both of you guys? No way. No <laughs> way. No, it's <laughs> not going to happen, so let's find out. Scissors what's going don't work that way, right? Joey. I Gosh. literally can't with you. You need to cut it out. We're going to do a staycation oh, set up. Really, any really <laughs> Scissors, cut it. <laughs> yeah, get both it. Both ridiculous. Up next with the morning mess. <laughs> morning mess here. We spoke to Janet. This is a crazy one. So this is a side chick staycation set up, which is always crazy. But Janet thinks her girlfriend, Ruby, is messing with Janet's ex-girlfriend, Michelle. So Janet... Your lady Ruby was taking a shower. Her phone was ringing. You saw the number, and you realized that's your ex Michelle's phone number. Yeah, and you know what? I can't even say that I'm that surprised. Wait, so you're not surprised that your ex is calling your next? Listen, she has tried to get back with me in the craziest, weirdest ways over the years. Um, she, there's nothing that she won't do. If this is true, then Michelle's got a lot going on up there. <laughs> and down there. <laughs> All right, everywhere. So just wow. so you know, you called us to do the staycation setup. This is the side chick edition. We're going to call up your ex, Michelle, offer her the free romantic stay and see who she wants to bring as her guest. But are you ready to get started, Janet? Oh, I'm ready. Yeah. Here we go. Hello? Hello, am I speaking with Michelle? Yeah, this is she. How you doing? I'm doing good, Michelle. My name is Jonathan. I'm calling from the Aurora Hotel with some really good news for you. You've actually been selected as the grand prize winner of our free romantic weekend giveaway. So we're going to put you up in our penthouse suite with a honeymoon package. I was calling just to confirm details, but I wanted to congratulate you for being our grand prize winner. Wait, what, what? you just blew me away. I won a vacation in a penthouse. That is correct. So we're offering this to you in exchange for a review on Google and Yelp since we just opened up here recently. It's a way to build our presence online. That's easy enough for me to do, um, but I only have a vacation coming up in two weeks. I think we do have availability in two weeks, so we can get started with the reservation if everything else sounds good. Cool. Okay. Michelle, thank you so much. Let me go ahead and get started. I have a few questions here to make sure your stay with us is top of the line. So the first thing is with this free romantic weekend stay, what we do is we start this off with a welcome note. Now, this is going to go to your guest of honor. So if you have like a special message you'd like to leave in there for your guest, I can give you a moment to think about that. 
this is perfect. This this is a bigger gift to me than you realize. Uh, no problem. Okay, I wanted to say, see how much better I treat you. I have that down. Now, my next question for you, Michelle, is who would you like to bring on this free romantic weekend stay? I need your guest full name for us to continue. Ooh, it's Ruby. Uh, I think on the side. Oh, no, why will you not leave me the alone? Excuse me? Yeah, so Michelle, we have to interrupt really quick. We're, we're actually the morning mess. You're live on the radio. Uh, Janet's on the line. Oh, my God. I'm oh, boy. Th- th- you have nothing better to do. I really want to know at this point. I-, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Michelle, you obviously invited her current girlfriend, Ruby, out for a romantic stay, so... I need you to go away forever. I don't ever want to be with you. Yeah, I don't you get that. Janet, don't you see how much I'm willing to do to win you back? Oh, hold oh on. God. So you're actually admitting this? You're only trying to get with her girlfriend to get her... Absolutely. I oh love God. Michelle, God. honey, is no. insane. It's true love, and you do whatever you need to do. And Girl. Now you need to make Janet aware of the fact that we are soulmates. Here's my confusion with this, Michelle. You get a free romantic hotel stay. Why are you trying to take her girlfriend, Ruby, and not just Janet? Because Janet thinks that Ruby is for her, and she's obviously not for her. You're trying to prove oh, that. Oh, so you're trying to get Ruby to cheat on Janet is what you're trying to do. Wow. I just think that... Listen, Michelle, what in the whole f- are you even thinking? I have not wanted to be with you for years. I told you that when we broke up. It was done. Get yourself into some counseling. You are f- out of your mind. Janet, what you are mistaking out of your mind is pure luck. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Wow. That's we scary. We are soulmates. I don't want it. And you just need to see this clearly. And I'm just trying to help guide you there, my love. What? My love. My love. Oh. Michelle, my goodness. Michelle, why can't we move on? This is like not even borderline. This is stalking. This is obsession. This is so not stalking. We we had a wonderful relationship. We are meant to be together. No, you didn't. Girl. That's why you're not together. Michelle, this is listen. Scary. Yeah. If there was any time that we needed to say it, I think it is now that we really do have counseling services. I would love to offer that to and you. And I hope Michelle. we get Janet in there because she needs counseling oh to know she needs she to be does. With She me. needs you to be the hell away from her. Yes. Janet, um, now obviously this has been going on for years. No restraining orders at this point? I mean, I'm very tempted to go down that route at this point. What do you mean tempted? At this point, this is what exactly you need to do. You need to hang up, get the restraining order. Yeah. You need to realize that I'm you at your front door. Your <laughs> like, she doesn't even hear what we're saying. Right. The best way to get over somebody is Do not it. to be with anybody. <laughs> In your right, case, Michelle, go. you need to just <laughs> be by yourself. God. You need a quarantine, not for no reason, just to do it, okay? Janet, I don't know how you can treat me like this. Oh, my Michelle. God. I'll never, ever bother with you again. She's going to text her tonight. Okay. Michelle, hold on. We're going to get you a counselor. Hold on. Janet, are you there? I am. You got to do this restraining order. This girl crazy. Oh, you make this girl's toes curl. She cannot forget about you. <laughs> yeah. Can you guys hook me up with some uh, details on how to do that? How to go about getting a restraining order? Oh, I thought right. you were going to say how to make a toes no, curl. I, no. I feel like you have that department down. Her liquor license. Listen. Oh, my God. I've had she to got... do that before. No, no. Oh. <laughs> she made a restraining oh. order. I thought, no. I thought Carla got her liquor license, too. I'm like, <laughs> gosh. The morning mess.